Brakatayahawa, Brakatayahawa Shai, Brakatayahawa, Brakatayahawa Shai, Brakatayahawa, Brakatayahawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahawa. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. Give double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson. Baharachach Wadash, Shah Amaf, and the Holy Spirit of truth and um the topic of this lesson is going in on high value men okay um i watched a video a couple weeks ago from the elder brothers out there in mississippi or you can catch the uh video on the page spirit win judah um and they, they was going the title of the video is high a biblical high value men and they also did another video called uh biblical high value women and uh, i'll probably also do another video on a, a high value woman according to the scriptures, according to the Bible, all right, uh, but nonetheless, in, in preparation of this video, I was watching different perspectives and, and uh, perspectives and videos of um, what people, uh, people's opinions of a high value man, and I was watching Kevin Samuels, who's like this uh, life coach for uh, men, and all he was really saying was physical substance, having money, he said $10,000, if you're getting $10,000 for starters, right, for starters, $10,000 a month, all right, which is 120000 a year, okay, uh, so six, that's six figures, got to be a six-figure type of man, you got to have uh, business connections and being able to network and, and so on and so forth, all right, so his, his uh, opinion on a high-value man is, is a man that has a lot of money, all right, well, the value of the money is depreciating every single day, all right, and soon it's not going to have any value, so if the only thing that makes you valuable as a man is, uh, if, if money is the only thing that makes you valuable as a man, well, when the dollar collapse and when the dollar has no value, you also will have no value and you will also will have nothing to lean upon. All right. When the dollar goes out the window, you're going to be looking for the next currency because that's the only thing that gives your life value. So that's how we know a lot of these people is going to take the microchip. All right. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take the microchip because that's going to be the new uh, form of currency. All these niggas on the gram flexing with money, right? The dollar is, is weak as hell right now, and it's soon not, not going to have any value, all right? You take all them racks to go and try to buy you some bread, all right? And you might, and you might not, you might not even have a month, enough money to get that. In Zimbabwe, when their currency collapsed, they printed out a oh, $100 trillion bill, all right? So you don't have to carry it. I think it was... um. Was it Greece, all right, or Germany? Uh, there, there. I think it was Germany, the 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 uh, the Weimar Republic or something like that. Uh, but nonetheless, it was when um, uh, and to go to the grocery store, all right, just to get a, a few things, they were carrying barrels and barrels of money, all right, and you can only buy a couple things. So the dollar is um, yeah, it was Germany, the the Weimar Republic. All right, which which um, which was their currency, but nonetheless, all right, nonetheless, uh, the scriptures say in the book of Proverbs eleven, it says, "Riches profit not." All right, riches profit not from the day of wrath, but righteousness. Let's read it. This is Proverbs chapter eleven and verse four. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. All right, so if you have the riches of this world, that's not going to get you saved. When the economy collapses, when the Lord continues to bring judgment. When he intensifies his judgment, okay, your money is not going to save you from nothing, all right? Your money is not going to get you delivered from the famine that's to come. Your money is not going to get you delivered from the martial law. Your money is not going to get you delivered from the intercontinental ballistic missiles, from the pestilence, from all this, all these scourges that the Lord is going to send for amendment. Your money, your riches is not going to get you delivered from that, all right? So you could cross that out. That doesn't make you a high value man, all right, having money. Okay, the Lord is not dealing with, 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 with a man that has all type of money. That's all. That's rich as hell. He said that in the book of Luke. You have received your constellation on this side. Let's grab that. It's the book of Luke, chapter 6 and verse... Uh, Luke, chapter 6 and 24. But, whoa, I start at verse 23. Rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. For, your, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. So if I read up, it's going in on how they're going to cast our name out as evil for the Lord's sake. It says, blessed are the poor. I'll just read up. 
This is Luke chapter 6 and 20. It says, And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of heaven. That show you right there, the Lord is not dealing with some rich ass, uh, 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 rich ass. He's not dealing with Floyd Mayweather. He's not dealing with uh, uh, um, uh, Jay-Z or, or, or LeBron James. All right? He, he's dealing with uh, 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 lowly men, humble men. All right? Now, of course, some brothers may have a little bit more than others. But even them brothers that have a little bit more than others, they're not rich. Okay, they may be a little bit uh, 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 better off than some other brothers, but that don't make them rich, man. We all struggling, all right? We all at the bottom, okay? It says, blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. So we should, that, it says better it, it is to be in the house of mourning than it is to be in the house of uh, of mirth, okay? It's, the Lord just said, blessed are ye that weep now, for what? For ye shall, uh, for ye shall laugh. Our sorrow shall be turned into joy. It says, uh, verse 22, Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company. And that's what they do now. All right, this whole world hates us. This whole world shits on us. This whole world speaks down on us. All right, from Israelites, men that actually know that they're Israelites, they call us the bum camp, right? They call us bums. They call us all types of names, okay? Bums, snow dummies. Uh, uh, any anything else you can think of, man? All right. So from Israelite camps to uh, 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 your own family, your own family talks down. You wasting your life. You're crazy. All right. All the way to your woman. Your own woman will speak down on you. All right. Your own woman doesn't see your value because you're not invested in this world. Because you're not trying to get that 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 next promotion, which is gonna give you a lot of money, but it's also gonna get take a lot of your time away. Which means you're not going to be able to study. You're not going to be able to read. All right, You're not going to be able to store up your treasures in heaven the same way. So you pass up on that opportunity. She'll look down on you. She'll talk shit to you. All right, Because she doesn't see your value. Okay? This world doesn't... Uh, the brother... Um, the elder brother... Uh, my big brother um, in Chicago. Uh, Murph. Jeremiah. Uh, his, his page is GMS Teach What Is Taught. He said, man, this world don't deserve us. All right, and, that, and that's a fact. This world don't deserve us, man. All right, the Lord said He sent His uh, messengers, uh, uh, having great compassion on His people. He sent His messengers rising early betimes, but they uh, uh, misused His messengers and, and mocked His prophets until the wrath of the Lord came upon them. All right, so they don't see our value. We're speaking the words of the Heavenly Father Yahweh when the name was only begotten Son Yahweh Shai. He is, and it's nothing of us. He has called us out of this dark, out of the darkness of this world into his marvelous light. All right. Not only did he allow us to know that we're Israelites, but he's allowing us to participate in this glorious ministry. We're prophesying what's to happen before it even happens. And it's happening now. All right. Starting with the apostles and the elders for years and years. They've been telling you it's going to be pestilence. It's going to be more earthquakes. It's going to be martial law. The dollar is going to collapse. Martial law is going to take place. And we're seeing all these things. Is, we're seeing all these things coming to fruition. World War Three. Nuclear missiles, the chariots, so-called UFO, so-called UAPs. We're seeing all these things take place now. But before it was taking place, I, 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 as it is right now, all right, we've been talking about it again, starting with the apostles and elders, 35 years, for decades, man, all right? And it's coming into fruition. So as we get closer and closer to the day, Yahweh Shai, our value is just going to skyrocket, and people is going to begin to see it, all right? People is going to begin to see it. The Lord is with him. All right. Is this he who we had some time in derision? How is he numbered among the saints of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai? That's in the book of wisdom of Solomon, in the fifth chapter. They're going to recognize who the Lord is dealing with and who the Lord is not dealing with. It says uh, uh, in the book of second, the 16th chapter, then ye shall know who my chosen is. All right. When all hell breaks out loose, when this devil was going door to door, slaughtering people on sight, hauling people off unjustly into uh, uh, concentration camps. All right. Then you will know who the Lord's chosen is. All right. When them troops come, how much money do you make? Oh, I make uh, $120,000 a year. Oh, okay. You're good. No. All right. When the, uh, 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 when the missiles come, the missiles not going to stop and say, Arr! this nigga make $120,000 a year and go hit some other nigga, some, some nigga that make only $40,000 a year. No. All right. The ones that's going to escape the judgment is the servants of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So uh, let's go into this book of Luke. Uh, finishing on, on this, Luke chapter 6 and verse 
22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when men shall uh, separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice, and who, who, who whose um, name is being casted out as evil? It's the men of Great Millstone. All these other camps, they shit on us. All right? And, all, and what do we do? They say we make Israel look bad. How we make Israel look bad? All right? We're the most diligent. All right? I, 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 out of all the camps. You see us constantly uh, uh, out there on the highways and byways, instant in season and out of season. As the scriptures say, you see us constantly pushing up videos. As the scriptures say, the Lord said, I will set a watchman upon thy walls, which will never hold their peace day nor night. We're the ones that's given the most diligence to make our calling and election sure. All right. We're the ones that's standing up for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai boldly and stiffly. But we make Israel look bad. Well, that just lines up to the prophecy. All right. That just lines up with what Yahweh Shai just said. Said, blessed are ye when men shall cast out your name for as evil for my sake. Okay, verse 23. Rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. That's that's where our that's where uh our mind is. Okay? Our biggest flex, our like like they say flexing, right? Nigga got a nice car, he take a picture flexing on him. Or nigga got a stack of money, right? Uh, income tax is coming up, right? Got a stack of money, nigga flexing on the ground. Right, our biggest flex, all right, is uh, uh, this wisdom. Our biggest flex is that we fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. What makes us val what makes me valuable is not the car that I drive, not the house that I live in, not the clothes that I wear. Those are all tangible things, man. Those don't mean nothing. All right, true value comes from what? From within. The Lord doesn't look on the outer appearance of man. He looks on the in. He looks on the inward. All right, he looks on the inner appearance of a man. That's what he's focused on, and that's what we're focused on. Storing up our treasures in heaven. All right. Building up our spiritual man. Okay. Our inward man. So it says, um, your reward is great in heaven. All right. We have a great reward coming to us. Right now we're poor. But in the kingdom, we're going to be, like they say, filthy rich. All right. I don't want to use the word filthy, but that that's the saying. Like we're going to have, we don't, we're going to have so much. You're not going to be able to put a money on our wealth. I just say, oh yeah, this guy's a, a billionaire. This guy just became a trillionaire or whatever, right? You're not going to be able to put a number. That's how rich like the elites now. You can't say, uh, they say, who do they say is the richest man? Not Bill Gates, it's someone else. His name doesn't even matter. He's going to go into captivity, all right? He's going into slavery, okay? But he's not even the richest man. The richest men don't have a number. The richest men control countries. The richest men control resources. They have islands, Okay, that 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 uh, they can do whatever the fuck they want to do on those islands, man. All right, there there there's no number to the to the amount of riches that they have. Well, that's going to be us times a thousand in the kingdom. Okay, so money is not gold. It says gold is going to be as nothing to us. We're not focused on none of that physical shit right now. We're focused on the spiritual, storing up our treasures in heaven where moth and rust cannot corrupt, where thieves cannot break through and steal. All right, you storing up your treasures on earth, all that shit's going to perish. All right, if your main focus is on carnal things, you're going to perish with those carnal possessions. You're not going to enter into eternal life like the rich man. The rich man came to Yahweh Shai and said, what, what must I do to uh, uh, enter into eternal life? The Lord said, keep the commandments. He said, I did these since my youth. And he said, well, if you be so perfect, sell all your possessions, sell all that you have and uh, follow me. And he left us. Uh, he he uh, walked away sorrowful because he had... Uh, because he had great possessions, all right? So that show you that a man that, that's, well, let's continue to read on. Luke 6 and 24. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your constellation. A man that has great possessions on this side, the Lord's not, deal the Lord's not dealing with Floyd Mayweather. This nigga, every, every week, this nigga got to flex how much money he has. Because the nigga has no real value, all right? Internally, the nigga is empty and vain. So he has to use these tangible objects to see, see, look, I'm, I'm valuable. I'm important. Look at my cars. I'm relevant, right? Outside of out, the nigga's boxing career is over. He retired, right? So outside of that, he, he has nothing. He's, he's a nobody. He's, he, he, all he has is money, okay? All he has is a bunch of cars and a bunch of watches and, 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 a, and a few sluts that's done slept with their, uh, all these other different entertainers and, and celebrities, man. That's low level, See, this is what makes us valuable. Our spirit, our mind, this knowledge and wisdom and understanding, fearing the Lord, faith in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith. All right? 
Now, this is like the second time me trying to do this video. It, was, I, it just wasn't coming out. I'm slip of the tongue or something. So I'm I'm trying to see if I already read this or not. If I did, Salakia. If I didn't, then here we go. This is the book of James chapter 2 and 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not Yahweh chosen the poor of this world? Rich in faith? So in this world, yeah, we don't have the uh, uh, the best cars. All right, we don't have the uh, uh, the most amount of money. All right, the biggest house, a house in the uh, in a gated community. We don't have none of that in this world. All right, which is cool. I'm glad I don't have any of that. All right, I'm glad I'm struggling. Okay, because that's the type of man the Lord is dealing with—a lowly man, a humble man. Okay, but what? I'm rich in faith. I believe. Okay, that not everybody has that. Not everybody uh, is given that. You could tell a nigga that he's an Israelite, but he won't—he won't be given that faith. All right, the faith has to be given to you in the book of Ephesians, the second chapter says, by grace are ye saved through faith, not through money, not through Federal Reserve notes or fiat currency. By grace are ye saved through faith, which is not of yourselves. It's a gift from the Heavenly Father. So the faith that we have has been gifted onto us straight from the heavens. OK, in this world, we're looked at as lowly. But when our name comes up in the heavens, Lord willing, we are part of that number. All right, a, 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 we're looked at as high value men, high level men. And it's going to make itself manifest as we get closer and closer to the return of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Have not Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he have promised to them that love him? All right, all these rich niggas, all right, all these rich niggas in this world, your, your Chris Brown, your, uh, your different athletes, okay, Errol Spence. Uh, uh, Andre War, Canelo Alvarez, all right, uh, uh, Conor McGregor, all these motherfuckers, man, they're 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 not going to be heirs of the kingdom, all right. They're going to be in the kingdom, but they're not going to be on top with Yahweh Shai. They're not going to be ruling with Yahweh Shai. They're going to be citizens in the kingdom, all right. They're going to be they're going to have money. They're going to be Israelites that got a lot of money, all right. That's what you're going to have, all right. You're going to have a nice little crib. You're going you're going to have what, what what you have, but you're not going to be on the level as the elect, man, all right. And I hope to be a part of that number. This is why we do these lessons. See, a woman, she don't see, or the, a woman in the rest of this world, they don't see the value of doing these videos. They don't see the value of going out on the highways and byways. They don't see the value of reading, all right, and putting our energy into this ministry. They don't see the value of that, all right? But if we were able to pull up our spiritual bank, bank statements, man, it, we'll be... You couldn't put it again. You couldn't put the put a number on it. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what the Lord has prepared for them that wait for Him. And uh, 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 if you're waiting for the Lord, you're serving the Lord. A true value, uh, a high, a true high value man is a servant of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. He said, "A servant shall eat when everybody else is hungry. A servant shall drink when everybody else is thirsty." All right, He is going to take care of His men. Okay, His servants is going to be uplifted above everybody on the earth. All right, it says, uh, and heirs of the kingdom, which he have promised to them that love him. Um, back in Luke chapter 6 and verse 24, but woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your constellation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. So motherfuckers speak well of these different pastors, T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar, even these Israelite leaders like Yohanna. Uh, 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 Nate. Oh, oh, my bad. General, uh, wait, what's the nigga's name? Uh, Bishop Nathaniel. Ben Israel, or whatever the hell them niggas say, man. All right? They, they're, they're spoken well of, but that's what they did to the false prophets. All right? They're speaking evil of our apostles and the men of Great Millstone, but that's, that's, that's what they did to the, uh, to the real, the true prophets. Okay? So, let's go from there. Um... Luke, there was something I wanted to bring up. Oh, let's get this in Zephaniah real fast. Okay. It's the book of Zephaniah. Uh, this is Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse... I'm going to get straight to the point. Zephaniah 1 and verse... I'll start at verse 13. It says, Therefore their goods shall become a booty. And their house is a desolation. So a high value uh, a man in this world, in this society, is a man that has a lot of um, a lot of money, a lot of goods. All right, a nice house. What it said, your goods is going to be spoiled, right? Your houses is going to become desolate. Okay, 
So all of that is going to go out the window. All of that's not going to mean shit. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from evil. And what makes a man righteous? A uh, the Lord said uh, Abraham's faith was counted to him as righteousness. It says, um, they shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. The great day of the Lord is near. And these people don't know that, right? These high value men. Okay, they don't even know that the Lord is on his way. And that he's going to destroy this society. And, 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 um, and establish a new heaven and a new earth for indwelling righteousness. This world is temporary. So why are we trying to build up ourselves, our status in this temporary world? When it's soon to be over. No, we're focused on the world that's to come. That's eternal and everlasting. And in that world, we're going to be the richest people on earth. Alright? In a physical sense. But it's going to go, go beyond physical riches. It's not going to mean shit to us. Gold is not going to mean we're going to drink out of gold cups, man. We're going to walk our feet. Or we, our uh, streets is going to be paved. But gold is not going to mean shit to us, man. All right? It's going to be little to count, little accounted of. All right? What's, what, what, uh, what's going to be seen in the um, uh, kingdom is the men that's with Yahweh Shai, man. That's what, that's what we're hoping to, uh, 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 to reach, man, to obtain. A seat with the Lord at his table for eternity. So it says, verse 14, the great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasteth greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. So when all hell breaks out loose, these men that's looked at as high value or, or, or these men that these women flock to, them niggas is going to turn into bitches. All right. But wisdom and knowledge shall be to the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. The men that may not have too much right now. All right. But they fear the Lord and they serve the Lord. Those men are going to be stable. Those men are going to keep their composure. And I was watching another video of this woman. Is, is, she was talking about a man that can keep his composure, right? That pretty much she was saying a, a, a man that can, um, that, that can control his spirit. And that's what we're working on every single day. We're working on getting, get, getting control of this flesh and being able to control the different emotions that, this body, that comes with this body, man. All right? Instead of reacting, she was going in on uh, uh, reacting and responding. We're not men that react. We don't react off of things, man. All right? Of course, we have our slip-ups, all right? Someone talk to you crazy, or your woman talk crazy, you might spaz on her, all right? I ain't saying beat her ass, but you might, you know, let her fucking have it verbally, all right? But we we don't react, we respond, okay? So someone may be treating us some type of way or saying certain type of things, and instead of reacting, the first thing that comes to mind, we say it, we, we, we uh, instead, we um think about what we're going to say, all right? Instead of vice versa, we just speak. That's reacting. You speak uh, uh, whatever comes to mind. That's a, that's a reaction. But a response is what? You're thinking before you speak. And that's what the scriptures say. It says a, a, a wise man, uh, a, a wise man's heart, a, a wise man's mouth is in his heart, which means he thinks before he speaks. But a foolish man's uh, 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 mind is in his mouth. His heart is in his mouth. I Meaning whatever comes to mind, he speaks it. All right. So that's another characteristic of some woman. She said that that makes you a high value man, being able to control your anger, control your different uh, impulses and so on and so forth. That's what we're learning in this truth. This truth teaches us everything. All right. This truth teaches us everything. Let's, let's get straight to the point, man. I'm already 20 minutes in. Let's get straight to the point. This is what makes us high value. This wisdom of Solomon chapter eight and verse one. It says wisdom reaches from one end to another mightily. And sweetly do if she order all things. So what's the topic of the conversation? Wisdom. That's the subject. I loved her. Who's the her? Wisdom. All right. I loved her. We're philosophers. All right. The word philosopher is Greek. Philo, which means um, love. And sopher goes to uh, Sophia, which means wisdom, a lover of wisdom. So King Solomon, all right, was a philosopher. Okay. And, uh, and we're also us men in this truth. All right. We love wisdom that makes us philosophers and sought her out from my youth i desired to make her my spouse and i was a lover of her beauty this is the this is the woman that we're focused on man we're not focused on none of you fucking bitches out here man you shameless women out here okay it says in that she is conversant with yahweh she magnified her nobility yea the lord of all things himself loved her for she is privy to the mysteries of the knowledge of Yahweh. That makes us high value men. Having these mysteries. In the book of uh, Matthew, the 13th chapter. The disciples came on to uh, the Lord privately and said. 
Why do you speak unto the multitudes in parables? He said, it's given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. To them, it is not given. So us having this understanding makes us uh, valuable in the eyes of the Lord. Makes, uh, ma makes us uh, 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 special. We're special to the Lord. That's why he's given us this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. That's why he's given us the gift of faith. That's why he put his word of prophecy in our mouth. Because we're special in his eyes. Special spirits. The world doesn't see it right now, but fuck the world, man. All right? Fuck the world and all things that dwell therein. Okay? We're trying to impress Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. It says, for she is privy to the mysteries. And when you go into the uh, word mystery in the Greek in the New Testament, it's the Greek word mysterion, which means not revealed unto ordinary mortals. So us having this truth means we're not ordinary. All right? Us having this truth means we're, we're extraordinary in the eyes of the Lord. We're high value men. We're special men in the eyes of the Lord. It says, uh, uh, I will get unto me the great men. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I have, uh, I have commanded my, uh, mighty ones and called my sanctified ones. Okay. He said, uh, 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 great were the men that publish his word to publish means to make public. All right. So pushing, being a part of this ministry makes us great. Being a part of this ministry makes us special. All right, peculiar, a peculiar treasure in the eyes of the Lord. Let me read this real fast and we'll go back into that. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 68. Psalm 68 and verse... Uh, Psalm, 60, Psalm 68 and 11. The Lord gave the word... Great was the company of those that published it. Great was the company of those that published it. To publish means to make public. All right. So we're making this word public. Going out on the highways and byways. All right. And putting these videos up on the internet. And when you post your video, it'll say publish, make public. It's, it'll give you the options. Public, unlisted, private. All right. Putting it on public. That's publishing the Lord's word. That makes us great. That makes us special. And that's going to be seen when this when this world uh, uh, collapse. When this world collapse, our value is not going to collapse with this world. All right, we're going to increase. We're going to inc we're going to uh, we're constantly increasing. Our stock, our value is constantly uh, increasing. Okay, uh, I got to read that Isaiah thirteen. Matter of fact, I'll read it right now. Again, this is like my second time doing this video, and I'm, I don't know if I read this yet in this particular one, but we're going to read it again. Um, and if we ain't read it yet, then here it goes. It's Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So the Lord is going to humble everybody on this planet, man. Verse 12 is the point. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. What type of man is that talking about? A man that fears Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Okay. It says even a man in the golden wedge of Ophir. All right. And that, that, that um, gold of Ophir, that uh, Ophir gold, that is precious. That's high valuable. That's high value uh, gold. The Lord says he's going to make us more precious than that. He's not talking about just any old man. All right. He's talking about a man that fears him. He's talking about a man that serves him. He's talking a man, uh, uh, talking about a man that's condemning this present evil world. Ezekiel 9 and 4, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of. That word mark is the Hebrew word tawa, which means to be exempt from judgment. So there's men on this earth that's exempt from the judgment that's to come. Those are high value men. Those are men that are special and precious in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and the whole world is going to know it. All right. In the book of second, Ezra, the 16th chapter it says, then ye shall know who is my chosen. When these things begin to come to pass, then you will know a prophet has been among you. OK, so the Lord is going to uh, 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 reveal who his chosen people are, who his chosen men are. All right. Which will lead to this precept this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 32. Isaiah, chapter 32 and verse one, behold, a king shall reign in righteousness. And princes shall rule in judgment. That king that's going to reign in righteousness, the heavenly father Yahweh, in the name of his only begotten son Yahweh Shai. The princes under him is the rest of the elect, starting with King David. All right? The nigga's talking about, yeah, what makes you a high value man? You get $10,000 a month. $10,000 a month? Come on, man. 
We, we're talking about rulership. You're, the, you See, that's what I'm saying. We think different, man. All right? We think different. We're on a whole different vibration, a whole different frequency than the rest of this world, man. 10K, man, that's a decent amount of money. You'll be comfortable with that. Oh, but we're not looking for that. We're looking for this society collapse to collapse, this dollar to have no value, to go out the window. We're looking for this world to be destroyed, the society to be destroyed, and our kingdom uh, uh, to rise up, okay? With us sitting on thrones, all right? With our faces on the money, all right? Real money, real gold, real silver. Verse 2 is the point. And a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind. The wind is what? The destruction, all right, the Lord talks about a destroying wind in the book of uh in the book of uh Jeremiah. Okay, a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind. What man is that? Ezekiel 9 and 4. A man that's exempt from the judgment to come, right? And a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place. So a, a servant of the Lord is gonna be as as a, a river of water in the desert, okay. You know, everybody's going to try to flock to that man. Everybody's going to look for that man. Hey, when the internet shut down, we're not on the highways and byways anymore. People's going to be looking for us because they gonna, are going to understand. I need to hear what those men have to say. Those are the men that show us the way to salvation. All right. Acts the 16th chapter. Okay. It says that in the book of Amos, they shall go from sea to sea looking for the word of the Lord. And who has the word of the Lord? He put his word into our mouth. And we're the ones that's publishing it. Okay. Through the spirit of the Lord. It says as rivers of water in a dry place. As the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Okay. So the, uh, uh, the Lord is going to make it known who he's dealing with. And uh, women is going to try to cleave to us. Okay. Women is going to try to cleave to us so that they can be. Um, Salakia. Let me. Um. So that they can be protected, all right? So that they can be saved. So that they can be so so that they can have that hiding place from the destruction. So that they can have that covert from the tempest, from the plagues, right? So that they, so they can have that 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 water in the time of drought, in the time of hunger, okay? Meaning that nourishment. The Lord is gonna take care of His men when everybody else is struggling. The rich motherfuckers is gonna be struggling. It's all gonna be one. He said, "Cause it's all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark." Everybody is going to be in the same predicament, but the Lord is going to deliver his elect. Okay, so since I'm in Isaiah, I'll, I'll hit this real fast. All right, I only got 40 minutes, so I got a, about eight minutes left. I want to hit a couple more precepts. Um, the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 4 and verse 1. It says, and in that day, right, when all hell breaks out loose, sh and, and in that day shall... Uh, uh, it's like in that day, seven women, seven just symbolic for completion, right? So it could be uh, you get one woman. It could be you get five women. It could be you get two. It could be you get 12, right? Whatever the Lord decides to give you. And at this point, it's like, I don't even give a fuck, man. I'm just trying to get into the kingdom, man. All right, whatever the Lord give to me, then that's what it is, okay? And them times, you're not going to be thinking about women. So you'll be lucky if you come across a man of the Lord, all right? Yeah, they, gonna, they, they, they come across, you come across uh, uh, a D1 athlete, they're not going to worry about that, nigga. His scholarship's not going to mean shit. Him going to the league is going to be done and over with. The nigga's not going to, ain't nobody going to be checking for that nigga. He's going to be crying and weeping. He's going to be bitching. They're going to be looking for a man that's stable. All right? That has his wits about himself. Okay? And that's the men that trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. So to take away our reproach. So they're going to be begging to be our women. All right? They're going to be begging to follow us. They show you that in the movie, The Book of Eli. She was begging to, uh, 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 to, to follow after Eli, man. All right? She was begging to, uh, 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 to, to run with him because she knew if she was with him, she'll be safe. Okay? It's the same thing that's going to take place in these last days. So let's go back into Wisdom of Solomon chapter 9 and verse 5. If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things? What is richer? He said money, right? Money makes you uh, uh, um, makes your value go up as a man. Well, the money is going to collapse, all right? And, it, and if it's all about being rich, well, what is richer than this wisdom that we have, okay? The type of things that we learn in this truth you can't obtain, all right, uh, uh, in the world, man. 
And that's, that's what it's going to go into. This is wisdom of Solomon chapter 8 and verse 5. If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things? And if prudence work, who of all that are is a more cunning workman than she? And if a man love righteousness, her labors are virtues. For she teacheth for wisdom, right? For wisdom teacheth temperance and prudence, justice and fortitude, which are such things as men can have nothing more profitable in their life. So having wisdom, all right, brings us all these different great characteristics that we need as men. Okay, we need temperance. This wisdom gives that to us. We need prudence and patience and justice and fortitude. We need all these things. And that's given to us through this wisdom, through this truth. And the book of uh, Ezra, the first chapter or the fourth chapter, it says that truth is stronger than all. We have the truth. So we're the strongest men on the earth. All right. We have this truth. So we're the most valuable men on the earth. We have this treasure in earth and vessels, man. Okay. It says, if a man desire much experience, she knoweth things of old and conjectureth aright what is to come. What is to come? She knoweth the subtilities of speeches and can expound dark sentences. She foreseeth signs and wonders and the events of seasons and times. Therefore, I purpose to take her to me to live with me. All right. I want I want this woman to live with me. All right. She, you can move in. You can live rent free. OK, knowing that she would be a counselor of good things and a comfort in cares of grief. This is the comfort in my affliction. All right. This is the best. This is the uh, 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 the most valuable thing that you can have. If you have this, the Lord is going to make you. He's making you. He's making us. He's making us more precious than fine gold. We're in the process of that as we speak, man. All right. The more trials that we go through as the days go on, us being focused uh, 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 and um, uh, locked into the spirit, our value is just going to increase. We're going to get more precious and more precious and more precious. It says that we shall shine brighter and brighter onto the perfect day. So as the day Yahweh Shai gets closer, we're just going to become more valuable. Okay? We're just going to increase. Uh, another another thing that uh, I was watching this woman, she said a high value man is a man that has confidence. Right? Well, the Lord said in the book of Jeremiah, the ninth chapter, uh, uh, if any man shall boast, let him boast that he know uh, Yahweh Shai. He don't boast. I'm, I'm just strong. I'm mighty. Right? I, I can do this many push-ups. Right? Or I did this. I did that. Okay? Uh, or, or boast in your wisdom. I got this degree and that degree. Right? No, we boast that we know Yahweh Shai. That is our uh, confidence. Which the word confidence just means faith. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 36. For ye have, uh, verse, like verse 35. Cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. All right, so we, we are confident men, confident in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, and confident in his word, okay? And remaining confident in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, and remaining confident in his word is going to give us a great reward. Again, something that you can't even fathom. So let's go from there to the book of Proverbs. I'm running out of time, so I'm speeding up, running through, the, through these precepts. It's Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 25. Be not afraid of sudden fear. Neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. All right. The desolation that's coming is all for the wicked. All right. It's not for us. He didn't appoint us onto that. He appointed us to receive salvation. Okay. And that's what we have to believe. That's what we have to have confidence in. We're trying our best to serve the Lord. We're walking in his fear. Uh, 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 we have faith in him. And Lord willing, we continue in that. We are going to be saved. Okay. Um, verse 26 is the main point. For the Lord shall be thy confidence. And shall keep thy foot from being taken. So if we're confident in the Lord, all right, and, and this this truth has elevated us on a different level, man. All right, Jake used to probably be a little timid, all right, when it came to talking to women or just speaking in general. I know I, was, I wasn't a big speaker in school. They make me go up to the front of the class. I'll get all nervous and shit, sweating and shit, right? But now we on the highways and byways, preaching to the world, man, all right? Confident. What what I gotta be nervous talking to some female for? I'm above you. I'm valuable. You're not valuable. All right? You're not valuable. All right. I, I'm the prize. You're not the prize. I'm. You should be trying to get with me, not the other way around. So this truth puts us on a whole different level spiritually, man. It elevates us, and we're like I said, we're on the up and up. We're gonna constantly be elevated. Uh, I had another one, but I, I ended up on that, man. All right, Lord willing, that was edifying. 
uh, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Akachadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Akachadash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. And the Thamash Nakabai, Laza Kwame Shara Shirala, get double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And Shalom Wahab, Labaki, Yashar, Yashirala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom Aki, and brothers, keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful. Stay locked into his truth. All right. Stay confident in the Lord. Confident in his words. All right. Salvation draw off nine. Redemption's near than we believe. Shalom.